Hello, math rock stars. It's Miss Inferrera back with another session of Number Corner. I hope everybody had a wonderful day yesterday, and I hope you have a great day again today. We're going to go to our math uh, calendar here for the month of March. I want to review with you first yesterday's date. Yesterday was Tuesday, March the 24th, 2020. So now we have to try to predict what the calendar marker is going to say for today. I'm going to go back to our document that we created to keep track of all of the patterns. I'm going to review with you first the patterns, the type of clock. We had analog, 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 digital. That pattern continued throughout the rest of the month. The pattern for how much time has passed. We have 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. And that pattern continues throughout the month. We're going to go down to the bottom here. That's where our last one was from yesterday, March the 24th, and look to see the time and the type of clock. You might want to also look above it and see what the past pattern was. You can say it in your head. You can start at the top going straight down to see what might come next and also try to predict what time the clock is going to show. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to turn and talk with your parents and share your predictions of the type of clock and also what time is shown on the clock, starting now. All right, time is up. So we had analog, 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 digital. So if we go down here, we see we have four analogs in a row. So the next one should be digital. Let's see if we are correct. Let's flip this card over. And let's just read the date first together before I zoom it in to take a look at the clock. Today is Wednesday, March the 25th. 2020. All right, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go in a little bit closer too so you can take a better look at it. And here you can see this clock looks different from the ones in front of it. So instead of an analog, we now have a digital clock. This clock is actually on a bank. Sometimes you might be driving by banks on the street and you see a big sign up. It'll tell you the time, sometimes the temperature also. So here we have a digital clock on a bank. The clock says four o'clock. The clock before it from yesterday said three o'clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my analog clock here. And yesterday it said three o'clock, but I want to see how much time has gone by to make it match today's four, four o'clock. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. One hour has gone by for four o'clock. 60 minutes equals one hour. And you can see that right down here. It says zero minutes right now because one full hour went by. So I'm gonna go back to our document here and I'm gonna type in today's date, three 25. Instead of an analog, now I have to type in digital. Instead of three o'clock, I'm gonna type in four o'clock. And it used to be 30 minutes that went by, but the pattern now, it changed 30, 30, 60 minutes, which is one hour. And I'm going to change the color of that so that way we can see the pattern a little easier. There we go. So 30, 30, 60. All right, let me get that out of the way. Let's go back to our screen here. And tonight, if you wanna to try to work with your parents and try to predict what will be on tomorrow's calendar marker, feel free and you can send me your predictions. Uh, one other thing I want you to do today, uh, something a little different, I want us to try to figure out how many days are left in the month of March. You can do this by creating a subtraction problem or even a missing add-end problem. 
Now there are 31 days in March. And so far, today is the 25th. That means 25 days have gone by. So try to make a math problem on how many days are left in March. And you can also send me those in the comments on Bloom's today. All right, I'm going to go to the next tab. We have our days in school. We point to this chart and say 100 because it's all filled in. Then we have groups of 10 here. 110, 120. 121, 122, 123, 124, 125. But now I have to add one for today. So after 125, oh, I don't want that green. I want it to match. Let me erase that. Change the color here to blue. All right, that's better. After 125 comes 126. So I'm going to go to our next screen here this shows from yesterday one large group of 100 so that blue one represents 100. we have a red two here for the two ten rods and then we have a five for the five ones left over so should i erase the one no that has to stay the same should i erase the two no, that has to stay the same because I'm not adding any more 10 rods. What about the five? Should I erase that five? Yes, I'm going to be erasing the five because I need to add another one. So let me add that one first. So as you can see here, nothing up here changed. That's why we don't change that one. Nothing with these 10 rods changed. That's why I'm not changing that too. But we added another green one here. So that is not going to be a five anymore. I'm going to be erasing that because one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to make sure it matches. So instead of a five, I am changing that to a six. So our new number is 126. All right, so I gave you a little assignment yesterday. I wanted you to add how much money we have collected so far. So really our math problem would say 13 plus 10. I'm going to show you another screen here of our 120s chart. And if you remember from class when we counted by tens, it's a pattern, we go straight down the column. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And you can do that starting anywhere you like. I can even start from the number 26. 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, and keep on going. That's counting by tens. You go straight down. So our original amount of money was 13. And if I added 10 more cents, I can use this chart to add 10 more by going straight down. I can start with the number 13. Let me mark that here. And if I follow the pattern going straight down, the answer should be 23. 13 plus 10 more equals 23. But I'm gonna show you on here too. I'm gonna start with the dime because it's worth the most. 10, but then I'm going to add those nickels because that's next. Five cents each. 10, 15, 20. Then I'm going to add those pennies. 21, 22, 23. So if you figured out that we had 23 cents in all, please kiss your brains. I hope you washed your hands before you did that. All right, so we're going to give this spinner another spin. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the spinner better. And let me move this over. And let me just review with you really quickly our dime, nickel, and penny poem. That way you can start memorizing these poems and remember how much each is worth and also what they look like. Dime. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. The nickel poem. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents. I know that. And the last one, penny. Penny, penny, easily spent, copper, brown, and worth one cent. All right, so we're back at our spinner. I'm going to give it a spin. Let's all cheer for big money, big money, big money, big money. All right, we have a new one here. Let's look closely. I see two different types of coins. Why don't you wish, whisper to your parents what coins those are? 
All right. If you guessed that, or if you thought that this was a dime, you are correct. And this one is also a nickel. So we have one dime and one nickel. So I'm going to scroll back over and I am going to make it go full screen again. And I'm going to move over one dime and one nickel. So from our poems, we know that a dime is worth 10 cents and a nickel is worth five cents. So 10 plus five more. Now, if you need some help, we can even go back to our 100, 120 chart. Let me clear this out. And I'm going to circle the 10 for the dime, 10 cents. And then you can add five more from here. One, two, three, four, five. So we have 15 cents total in this chart. And it's already on green. I wanted to use a different color today to show all the different amounts for each day. So we have 15 cents today. All right, here's a challenge question for you. I want you now to add up all three of these amounts to see how much money we have in all. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me for another day of Number Corner. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Rock on!